What's up everybody, welcome back to the Villager Lab, and today we're going to be attempting to make a chicken. Emphasis on attempting. In terms of design, I think chickens are one of the most boring species there is in the game. While they do all look fairly different, if you told me to imagine one of them in my mind, I honestly couldn't. There are only 9 chickens in New Horizons, so there's really no reason for me to be getting some of these characters confused with each other. As I'm looking through this list of the chicken villagers, it's it's I'm noticing that mainly all the chickens are is just eyes and a beak, and they don't really go any farther than that, so I know that I want to do a villager that's a lot more like lively or has a lot more going on, maybe just a lot going on in general. While I was planning this episode, originally I was thinking that I was going to do like a chef chicken, maybe he was like wearing a chef's hat and looked really tired or really looked angry just so that we could have a theme to go off of and make him stand out, but honestly that idea didn't really excite me so I don't think I'm gonna do that and I need to see what else I can do. As I look at the model for the chicken, one thing that immediately stands out to me actually is the uh, feathers on the neck that they have. None of the existing villagers do like really anything with that. Some of them have like a little bit of a gradient. Nox, I guess it's supposed to be a bell kind of showing that, but really none of them do anything interesting with the neck feather. So I think for my villager, I want to do something with that. My first thought is to have um, rainbow colors go around, but honestly, I don't know where I could go other than just like a rainbow themed villager. And that like, that's just not a very good base for me to, uh, to start on. Since a lot of these chickens are very forgettable, I want to do one that's a lot more in your face with lots of bold colors um, something kind of crazy so what i'm thinking is a chicken based on mardi gras if you don't know what mardi gras is basically it's a lot of parades and partying and celebrating and everything like that it's actually represented in animal crossing with festival but i kind of want to uh, hone in on new orleans mardi gras I grew up in Louisiana, so I have a ton of memories of like going to parades and seeing sort of the Mardi Gras imagery of the three main colors, which are purple, green, and yellow, which I think we're going to use as our main kind of color scheme for this chicken villager. What I'm thinking is just kind of alternate green, yellow, and red on those neck feathers that they have. I'm not really sure how to do it for these top feathers up here, but I know at least for the bottom feathers, we can have those colors kind of alternate and go around. So something like this is kind of what I had in mind. I am going to need to mess with the colors because they don't line up perfectly right. Some colors like kind of double up next to each other, but this is sort of the baseline that I'm thinking for our villager. So as I'm looking through kind of like Mardi Gras inspiration on Google, I'm noticing and remembering that there's like a lot of kind of mask imagery that comes with Mardi Gras. And so I think I have a pretty cool idea that we can try. So I don't really know how to describe this, but I feel like jesters are kind of like an, an unofficial mascot for Mardi Gras in a way. You'll see them a ton on like floats and on beads and on cups, everything that gets thrown out during the parade. So I think this would actually be kind of an interesting idea for a villager. And actually, if you look at it, the Jester has very similar kind of design elements to the actual chicken villagers in Animal Crossing. So if you look here on the neck, you can see that it has sort of a similar thing to those neck feathers that the chicken has, where it kind of goes out and it looks a little bit like a hood. And then same with the legs, you can see it gets like poofy up there at the top and then a skinnier leg down at the bottom. So I think we can pull pretty much all of these elements and put them into our chicken villager to make it really stand out amongst the others. I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to translate over from um, like a, a realistic human jester to a chicken villager, but I think it'll be cool to at least try. I'm noticing on a lot of pictures of the jesters, they have sort of this like split colored hood that they wear on their heads. So what I did was I did like half green, half yellow, and we can kind of round it out so that it looks like it's wearing a hood. Benedict actually does something kind of similar, but I don't think it's supposed to be a hood, but I'll kind of copy what his, his head shape looks like uh, to make it look kind of like a hood. Yeah, so this is what I mean. It looks kind of like it has its face exposed underneath a hood that it's wearing. I think that's going to be something really cool um, to have for our villager. Of course, I'm going to have to do a mask um, over its eyes or maybe even a mask for its eyes. I haven't really decided yet, but I want to do something kind of crazy and intricate because it, it will go along with that theme of like a ton of different colors, just something that really stands out. So this is what I'm working with right now. Um, I put purple as its main color so that it could contrast the hood color of yellow and, uh, and green. And then I did a lot of, I don't know, designs kind of coming off of the main mask, just something to make it really stand out, have kind of that like fancy, intricate look. And then I'm also adding a couple rubies in color, uh, maybe some red, maybe some green. Uh, I think it'll look really cool. I'm not sure how it will turn out, you know, in game or anything like that, but I think it'll be cool. Yeah, I'm really liking the way that that looks. Um, I want to see how it's looking in game. I also, I made the beak gold and I'm going to attempt. We're going to see how it looks, but I kind of want to make the beak look kind of like metal so it looks like it's actual gold instead of just colored gold. I'm not sure how that will turn out, but I think that would be cool. 
All right, here we are in game. Um, first thoughts, I like it a lot, but I do have uh, <laughs> kind of some notes, I guess. First off, I love the beak being like metallic and looking like it's actual gold, but I think your eye gets drawn straight to that, and I would rather your eye gets drawn more so to the mask. Um, so I think I may end up changing that. I'm not sure if I'll change my mind later on. I just think it's a little bit too dark right now, and I can't figure out how to make it not as dark without making it metal like that. So if I can figure that out, I'll definitely change it. But for now, I think we're not going to make it metal. And then another thing is the mask. Um, I really like all those little intricacies, but if you get too far away from the villager, you cannot see them at all. They completely disappear into the rest of the face, which isn't really good design. Um, so I think I may get rid of those. Just maybe make the gold part a little bit wider or something like that to really accentuate all that stuff. Not really sure how I'm going to do it, but I just know that that's not working how I want it to. And then really the only other thing right now is that I need to change the yellow color to be something a little bit more gold and less like bright yellow. It, it will just fit more with the other gold stuff in there. I'm also going to have to tackle something which I am foreseeing as being an issue, which is giving it eyes. Um, I, I get the feeling that the eyes are going to be hard to do. Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and try to figure out eyes before I mess with anything else. I don't really think we can go too crazy with the eyes because there's not that much room within the mask. Obviously, we want the mask to be the main focus um, and the eyes can just emote however they need to. I, I'm going to try with just dots, but I get the feeling that's going to look creepy. <laughs> OK, yeah, no, that's um, that's terrifying. Uh, probably no on just the pure black <laughs> eyes. Uh, yeah, as funny as it is, I don't I don't know if we can keep that. All of the eyes that I've been trying out, I've, I've been through a bunch of different kind of eye designs, and they all kind of look like they're staring into my soul. I'm wondering if it's more so an issue with the eye holes in the mask as opposed to whatever eye that I put, because it's been like every single eye that I attempt, uh, none of them look right. So I'm wondering if I need to kind of redesign the mask eye shape, and that'll make things a little bit better. What I'll try to do is make the eye hole a little bit wider because I think what that's going to do is make it so that it doesn't look like it's, I don't know, like upset at you with some of the eye being cut off. I looked at some of the other villagers that wear masks like Mira and you can see a lot more of their eyes, but their eyes also aren't, they're not too small. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm kind of going based off of that. Yes, yeah, so I tried kind of directly copying Mira, and um, this is even worse. I don't know why it's working for that particular mask, but not for this particular mask. Um, I'm, I'm, it's mask to mask <laughs> ratio or something like that, so I don't know um, where where the issue is kind of coming from. All right, so I completely changed the mask. I definitely don't like this one as much as the other one, but I'm, I'm wondering if having certain like kind of color parts be different and have this wider eye area. If that'll fix things, I'm, I'm just going to see. I also looked up um, wolves have very similar eye shapes to what I've designed. So I'm just going to pull one of the wolves eyes, um, more specifically Wolfgang, and just see if that'll look all right. I think I think this will work. OK, yeah, I'm not going to say that that's the greatest, uh, but it's definitely better than anything else that I've done so far. I'm going to stick with these eyes unless I can come up with something better, which I honestly get the feeling I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to mess with the rest of the body for now and maybe come back to the mask because like I said, I don't really like how basic it is. I want something that's really crazy. I want to add some of those intricacies. So if I can figure out how to do that uh, while still having it be readable from a distance, I would I would love to have that. Actually, before that, I want to uh, kind of show off how he looks in game here. I think it looks OK. I'm, I'm not completely sold on the way that it looks, but I don't think it's bad. Um, I just. I want to get some of the ideas that I have kind of more correct or, or more what I have in my mind before completely signing off on this one, if that makes sense. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that there's potential. Also, um, I'm, I kind of I thought that the Jester outfit would work really well for this, obviously, but um, it looks a little bit weird on him, which is surprising. I think that mixed with all of the other over the top colors and everything make it just way too much. I'm going to have to think about what kind of uh, clothing I want to put on him. So. I'll, I'll think about that while I'm working. For the bottom half of the body, I want to do what I had mentioned a little bit earlier, which is uh, like that kind of baggy top part and then the skinny sort of legging parts for where the legs are. Uh, what I'm thinking is probably have maybe like stripes or some kind of diamonds. I see a lot of a diamond shape. I think diamonds might be a little too complicated or the, uh, the texture might be too small, so you may have to do stripes. And then on the top half, uh, like the baggier part, we'll do probably a split similar to what we did with the hood, probably just with different colors, maybe like green and purple or something. I'm kind of going back and forth what I want the colors on the leggings to be. Originally, I was thinking go, you know, just do the same three color motif that's been throughout. But 
I want to make sure that the mask is the focus. It seems like that should be the focus, or at least the face in general. And I think if too many spots have too many colors going on, your eye isn't going to know really where to look. So I'm going to have everything else be maybe a little bit more subdued. Um, so I think we'll just go with one color. I'm going to go with gold and just see how that looks. You also may notice that I uh, changed the rest of the body color to gray. I wanted to make it so that his face looked like it was painted white, so I had to do the uh, the whole rest of the body a different color, so I just went with gray just for now. I don't even think you're going to be able to see any of that, and honestly, I may keep it like that, just so that there is one spot that's not kind of crazy colors, just so there's one neutral zone. I may end up changing it if it looks weird. Um, but that's that's kind of what I'm going with for now. Here's where we're at. Um, gray is probably not the right color for the rest of the body to be. It kind of sticks out kind of bad. And then I need to change the feet. Um, they're kind of the default orange right now. I want to make them that gold color to match the rest of the body. Other than that, I think it's I think it's looking pretty good so far. I've decided I am going to re-add those little intricacies to the mask uh, because I realized once you go back far enough, all of that gold just goes away. So there's not really any point in getting rid of the part that I actually liked. Uh, once you get close enough, then you can start seeing the gold. Like it's, I don't mind it that much. I've got kind of a cool idea for the eyes. What I want to do is make the mask actually show the emotions in the eyes. So kind of what I mean is the gold part that's around the mask. I want that to actually move and blink and be the thing that makes the character look angry as opposed to having that be static and then make the eyes underneath the mask move. I just think that'll add a little bit more personality. I was very inspired by the old villager Wolio. Um, he does something very similar with his sunglasses. So I thought that that would be a cool way to spice up this villager. So you can see what I mean whenever he blinks here. Uh, normally you would think that whenever his eyes would close, you would just see more of the white skin underneath, but I made it so that the gold of the mask is actually what's covering up the eye. I just think that that's something a little bit more unique and the gold is a much more interesting color to see than that white. So I think that works out really well. I'm also probably going to have the gold parts change shape depending on, you know, if it's angry or sad or something like that. I think all of that is going to work really well for a really unique villager. And since we keep calling him this villager, I think we should probably come up with a name for him. At first, I wanted to name it Phile, uh, which Phile is something that you put into gumbo, which obviously is very big in Louisiana. And we're basing this off New Orleans stuff. And also... Filet sounds very similar to filet, like the cut of chicken, so I thought that that would be cute, but I think we have something that could be a little bit better. So there's a town in Louisiana called Mamu, and they're very well known for their uh, Career de Mardi Gras, which basically translates, I believe, to Mardi Gras run. What they do during this run is chase a chicken, so I thought that that would make like a nice reference, this being a chicken based on Mardi Gras. So I figured that we could name it Mamu as a way to reference that specific city, but also just the tradition of... of chickens within Mardi Gras. As for the phrase, I've already got that figured out. Uh, there's a phrase in Louisiana that's used a lot, and more specifically during Mardi Gras, but um, it's it's laissez le bon temps rouler, which basically translates to let the good times roll. So I figured that the phrase could be bon temps. I think the whole phrase would be a little bit too much, but bon temps is uh, good times, which seems like a lot of sense for this villager with all of his colors. He seems like he would be having a good time, so I thought that that would work really well. So with that, let's put Mamu in some clothes. I've been having a lot of trouble figuring out what exactly I want to do in terms of clothing. Originally, uh, I think I had mentioned it, I wanted to do the Jester costume, but it just didn't look quite right. I think a lot of the colors were different, and I don't really feel like changing the colors on the, uh, on the Jester costume. So I pulled in a couple other clothes. I'm staying closely with things that are just one solid color in that purple, green, or yellow realm. I think yellow is going to look best. I think this bowling shirt would be really cool, one of these bowling shirts. I also got this biker jacket that I think would be kind of neat, but I want to do something short sleeve. I think I'm going to end up going with this yellow bowling shirt because I think it complements the character pretty well, and that black also adds a good bit. I think I think we're going to have the bowling shirt be its, its default clothing. So with that picked, I'm going to do some final refinements and get everything looking right, and uh, then we'll be able to meet our new villager. And finally, here is our chicken villager, Mamu. I knew that chickens were going to be a tough villager for me to do, so I wanted to get them out of the way soon, and overall, 
I would say I'm pretty happy with how this villager turned out. He's definitely not my favorite villager that I've made for the series, but I do think that he accomplished what I was trying to do with this particular villager, which was make a chicken that was really unique and memorable. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on with the villager. I love the mask and the way that it kind of acts as eyes. That's super cool. Uh, the comb on top of its head, I like that it looks a little bit glittery. I do wish that I could have made the beak actually look metallic, but I couldn't really figure out a way to do that without changing the colors. But if I could have figured it out, I definitely would have done that. Let me know what you think in terms of personality types. Um, I was thinking possibly Jock, but honestly, I couldn't really decide. So whatever you guys think, let me know down in the comments. As always, if you end up drawing a picture of Mamu or any of the other Villager Lab characters, I would love to see it. Feel free to send it over to me on Twitter, Instagram, wherever you want to reach me, because I love seeing the different interpretations that people do of the characters that I end up making. I also real quick wanted to announce that I do have channel memberships open now. So if you don't know, channel memberships are basically a way to support me as a creator and you get some perks as well. You get a badge next to your name, you get special emojis, you get some exclusive videos and early access to videos. If that is something that interests you, you can hit the join button or I have a link in the description that you can click. But with all that out of the way, I appreciate you guys watching all this and I'll see you in the next one.